Hey there guys and gals, it's me, it's Arknight, and um, I just quit my job, like I said like in the video last week, um, and I am gonna expose them, because well, these sons of bitches didn't even want to pay me my goddamn vacation time, or the three days that I worked for them over there. They didn't want me to get paid, and uh, yeah, I went to the corporate office, told them, hey, so I'm gonna get my paycheck, they told me, oh yeah, you're gonna get your paycheck. They sent my paycheck to an old, old account. That's into an old account, I mean they sent it to an old address. While on the paper that they s pretty much signed and everything, they said I pretty much put in my correct paper. Pretty much my correct correct address and everything. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna pretty much put this out there because they didn't want to give me my paycheck and everything. So yeah, I think I might go ahead and expose them because well, oh well, oh well. These guys really have horrible, horrible, I mean... I really mean horrible like conditions that they give out to customers. Pretty much I used to work at a grocery store clerk. Uh, well, pretty, pretty much I was a clerk basically. I worked at a supermarket. The supermarket that I worked at was horrible conditions and everything. Pretty much the employees did everything they can. But the, you know, the bosses and everything, they didn't give two fucks about anything. So yeah. We asked them, the boss for something, they're like, no. You, 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 do, you do you. Pretty much don't ask us anything. You're the boss, you know what to do. It's your thing. It's like, okay, when it's our thing and everything, just like some pictures that I put up right here, like um, like a tangerine right here. This, like, uh, this comes in like this all the time. I think, I believe I also have a picture of, like, you know, onions as well, some kiwi, some watermelon. They come, they're coming in horrible, like, in horrible conditions lately. And they're blaming it all on us, just because they're saying, oh, it's the cheapest, it's high quality, it's everything. This is the highest quality that you guys have ever seen. That's what they're telling us. Pretty much what they're doing is false advertisement. Everything that's coming, well, everything that was coming in when I used to work there. Everything came in at extremely low quality, but we sold it like double or triple the price tag. Well, you could go to another supermarket and get it like cheaper. But uh, our company, our boss, well, again, my ex-company, my old bosses and everything. They didn't care about any, any of that, so yeah, I decided to pretty much, well again, we all decided to take pictures, not just me, some other coworkers as well took pictures saying, hey, don't buy this. I know I know another person did an exposed video on it, I don't know if it gained traction or not, but hey, I'm here doing it on my own too, just like their meat, oh god, the, the horrible meat department section that they had, yeah, everything looks good and everything. But they ha they use a special trick. I don't know if any meat department. I don't know like if any meat guys right here. If anybody sees this video, pretty much they like using Sunny D or a tang. Uh, what they call it? A Tampico orange juice. Like you know the tangerine and everything. They add the juices right there so they can make it a little more livelier. Like you know so it can last for a couple of more days. Well again that's what I've noticed because every time they ask me, I see the meat and the meat's a little bit like you know like you know I don't want meat meat's about to be rotten and everything. Yeah, that's what happens. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I think I show you guys some pictures right here. I believe I also have a picture of uh, chicken legs right there inside a bag. Which, trust me, I took a picture of that, but those were on the floor. And just like some other things, like, you know, some meat stuck in uh, some cardboard right there, if you guys see right there. So, yeah. If you guys want to have this trending, let me know. And uh, have it trending, why not? Because that's very very horrible conditions that the place has well even the health inspector shows up and everything pretty much when the health inspector shows up they start running like there's no tomorrow saying oh god guys the health inspector's coming in quick uh, clean everything up just like what they call it this like you know how uh pretty much this place that i work at has a kitchen department like you know you're going like it's a, it has a little restaurant and everything those guys that were right there ooh, they, every, when their stuff like you know everything's bagged they don't even make it. Everything that comes in there, it's everything is bagged. Sometimes they leave it out there for like 10 to 12 hours. I think I have a picture of it somewhere in my phone. I'm gonna go look for it. If I ha find it, I might put it right there on top of the screen right there. And yeah, that's not a good thing to do. Not a good stuff. And it's just horrible. Again, I live in SoCal. Pretty much people that live here in SoCal. And the people that used to work there, you could yelp it and everything. Or you could just Google it. You put 2 plus 2 together and you'll find it. Hell, what do they call it? If some of my old peers find this video, then good good for you. You found an old video of me because I used to work with this company for fucking five years. 
And it took five years just to, like, you know, five years was enough, it was enough for me. I said, screw this, fuck you guys, I'm leaving. But I didn't say it that way, I just did it by two weeks notice, and, uh, yeah. They didn't want to give me a paycheck, I went to their HR, their HR lady said, Oh no, it's not my problem anymore, sorry. It's pretty much your problem, here's the FedEx ID number. If you have any information, pretty much let me know, call me so I could have them, you know, try to help you out to take it off like you know like to put it put it in like in a, in a pickup station i called her i told her that she says what do you want me to do about it it's like i'll try to help you out as best i can i'm like thank you because she just gave me the fedex number but after that she didn't tell me what else she put because the guy was asking me for the id okay i told him i told him dude i don't know anything about this i'm sorry like the person that did this to me just gave me the tracking number that's about it i gave him my old address and everything he said like oh no Nothing showing up. I was like, how is nothing showing up, dude? A lot of things were showing up right there. I'm like, you know what? It's a pickup or drop off because I have a, I just have a number right here. He said, if it's a number, it's a pickup. If it, if you want to drop something off, you go to a drop off station. I'm like, okay, you know what, dude? Thank you for the help and everything, but you're not helping me out at all. But uh, thank you for the help and everything. That and that's when I called my um. The HR lady, which I called the HR lady today. Today's a Monday. She told me she was going to help me out on a Friday. I told her, hey, help me out, please. Like, do you think you can help me out with this? She said, yeah, I'll help you out. Why not? But she never helped me out at all. It was a pain in the ass? Yes, yes, it is. Pretty much my whole three weeks of vacation that she did not decide to pay me? Yes, it's a whole pain in the ass as well, too, right there. With three days that I work with them, too. And if the company sees this, I'm not lying. Pretty much you guys want to defend yourself because... You guys always have a lot of fucking lawsuits on your guys' hands. Hell, pretty much what? Your guys' main system for ordering and everything, for call doing phone calls and everything has been down for a month now? A month and a half? Fuck. And you guys said the goddamn Asian lady was gonna help you out. Sorry that wasn't racist, but it's just like... Ugh. If I say the name, they'll know who I am. And if people find out, that's... Uh, fuck it, why not? But yeah, guys, this really pissed me off and everything, and um... Yeah, I'm just doing this video because I'm, I'm just really tired of this. I called her again today. I left her a voicemail saying, hey, uh, so-and-so. If I say her name, she's going to be like, oh, you use your name. We could see you now and everything because now we know who you are. Because goddamn, goddamn, pretty much it's not right. And if you guys know any lawyer of any type of this that knows how to handle the situation, let me know because I took pretty much both pictures of my resignation. Pretty much right there at the bottom of the section says, oh, hey, look. Where would you like to be delivered your last, like, you know, your final address? I'm like, oh, pretty much I wrote down the address, and there you go. Pretty much right there. The goddamn resignation paper tells you right there. Where would you want your final address sent, like, your final paycheck sent? I wrote it down, I took pictures of it, and, uh, they decided to say, fuck off. No, we're not gonna look at the resignation sheets. We're just gonna go ahead and just look right there at your sheets right there. Because my goddamn manager didn't even want to change my goddamn address for a fucking year and a half that I worked right there. Pretty much, I was, pretty much, they made movies from store to store. Pretty much the store that was right there. That manager was a fucking cunt. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, he, he put on like a facade and everything, all happy go look and everything. But if something wasn't going his way, he threw a fucking tantrum. Like, you have no fucking idea. And that really pissed me the fuck off. Like, you have no idea. I said, decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm leaving, I'm quitting, I don't care. And he's like, why are you quitting, huh? I never disrespected you. Like, he threw a goddamn tantrum right there. But either way, this video is going fucking long enough. Which I think I might have posted a couple more videos. I'm just doing recording. And right now, I just have the Doom gameplay in the background for no reason. But, uh, yeah, guys. If you guys know how to help me out with this situation, please let me know. Sorry that I dragged this too long, too. But, uh, yeah. My name is Arknight. And, um, if you guys know... Trust me, if you guys know how to handle this situation, let me know in the comment section below. Or just share it with your friends. Tell, tell them, hey, like, how is this situation supposed to be handled? Because these sons of bitches don't even know anything. Hell, even one of my, pretty much my sister's boyfriend's family is telling me just to sue the company because they were supposed to liquidate me, everything. Everything they owed me after that point, they were supposed to give it to me. But no, they did not do it. But uh, hey, I'll talk to you guys down the road because it looks like the audio seat, it's, it's pretty much lagging right now. But uh, yeah. I'll talk to you guys next time.